Today on the bench, I want to tie you up the Western Green Drake. Obviously, this is a great pattern to use when you have green drakes coming off, so make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 8 dry fly, some olive green ADOT nano silk for the thread, some dark olive polar bear or moose for the tail, some natural short fine deer hair for the wings, some orange stretch floss for the rib, some dark olive dubbing for the body, and some olive grizzly for the hackle. So the first step in the fly is to get your thread onto the hook. Now I've taken about, you know, probably 10 to 12 strands of my polar bear hair. And this works also good with, uh, with moose. But I like the polar bear because it gives a little bit of shine. I'm gonna measure it up almost the length of the hook, put it back, and then tie that in. And that's gonna be our tail. And always remember, when you're tying in your tail, go behind your tail at least once like that and it holds it up and just split them out. Next step of the fly is take your thread and go up about 60% up the hook bend. I'm probably you know two-thirds of the way up towards the eyelet. Leave your thread there and then I've taken a, a good clump of deer hair and this is yearling. I like the uh, the thinner finer deer hair especially when I'm tying this. I want a thinner finer deer hair. I'm gonna put it on my hair stacker of course and give it a good stacking. out get rid of all the all the fluff on the end you'll find that you have a whole bunch of fluff on the end and this is gonna be tied in to create our wings now that we have everything prepared and the wings ready to go in measure it up again about the length of the hook and then I'm gonna reverse it I'm actually gonna take it on my other hand measure it up again and then tie those in and take two or three loose wraps to start and then tighten up. And that way it'll keep it towards the top of the hook. Let's wrap that in. And cut off your excess. Once the excess is cut off, just continue to trim it up so there's not a whole lot of loose hairs. Pull all the material up front, forward, and wrap in front. Wrap up a little bit in front, keep picking up those hairs, and then continue to wrap behind. And when you wrap behind, keep going over to move it into position. So I'm just wrapping back and I want it to just continually move forward. So my wing is set up about, you know, probably a half inch from the, the hook eye. Now that we have the the uh, deer hair tied in, we're going to separate them. So just kind of grab half and half and do some figure eight ties in between just to separate these two wings. And again, don't forget to wrap in front and behind and keep continuing to separate. And once we have them separated fairly evenly, we're going to do a couple of turns around the bottoms. So we're going to create little wings, and I'm just going around the very bottom of those wings. So I'm creating two separate wings now. Now that we have the wings tied in and separated, I'm going to move my thread back to the uh, kind of midway. I'm going to take a piece of our stretch flex, and you can use different colors. You know, I, I prefer the orange. I like a little, little different color on the fly, just color variation between the dark olive body and the, and the rib. So we're going to tie this in. Some people use yellow. I prefer orange. And we're just going to tie it in. Now the rib's tied in, and we're just leaving it off the back of the hook. I'm going to take some of my, my darker olive dubbing, and I like a little bit of sparkle in this dubbing. So 
so I always pick out a dummy that's got just a slight sparkle to it. And you've got to remember, these green drakes are pretty big, so we're just going to, you know, start, start light on the, on the body, in the back, and then taper it up. So just keep it thin at the back, and then slowly taper up as we get towards the white. Just like that. What I like to do is go over it with my thread and then back a couple times, just like that. And that actually ties the body and gets it ready for the ribbing. Now that we have the body tied in, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm actually going to take the rib and I'm going to pull it fairly, fairly tight. I'm going to go up here and create about, you know, four or five segments on the body. And then finish off right at the wing. your excess. Now that we have the body tied in the rib, I'm going to take two hackles and the way you measure, just hold it up and spin it and it should be about just past the barb uh, width there. Just your hook width and that looks just about right. So I'm going to tie that in. Wing. And the reason I use two is I want this quite bushy. I leave those a little longer. Then I need to go in front and tie it in front of my wing because I want to finish off right at the outlet. Leave a bit of room and then start wrapping in. And keep these hackles nice and full. So do at least you know one good one, one or two good ones behind. Pull your wing forward and do a couple wraps. and then tie off. Now that we have the hackle tied in, and it's quite bushy, you can see the, the body's fairly thin, but it really gets thick towards the head, and that's what we want in a green drake. I'm gonna take our whip finisher, and create a bit of a head. You're gonna take a few spins, and again, do another whip finish. And a lot of times I'll head cement, but in this case, I won't have to. And there it is, cut off your thread and you have the finished Western Green Drake. So there it is, my version of the Western Green Drake. You can tie it in different sizes. You're anywhere from a size 10 all the way up to a size 6. They are big flies. But this one here, I tied it in a size 8. I find it's a general size that I can use pretty well on all the streams that have Green Drake hatches. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.